When you cut a threaded rod, you're probably going to mess up the threads, so you need to follow them out with a die to clean them up. If you don't have a die, a nut will work pretty well as a die if it's already on the rod. So before you cut this, put a nut on each side of the cut. The easy way to get a nut along a threaded rod is to chuck the rod in a drill and use the drill to turn the rod inside the nut while you hold the nut. If that's not possible, you can use this trick. So chuck up any old bolt and get a rubber band. The wider, the easier this is. I like using produce rubber bands that come with like broccoli packs that are super wide because if it fits on both sides of the nut, you don't even have to keep it on. It'll stay on by itself. With something thin like this, you have to control the drill a little bit to keep it where you want it. And that's how you move a nut along a threaded rod that's captured. If you're going to clamp a rod with threads in a vise, make sure you use a soft drawed vise or use some type of padding so you don't mess up your threads. Make sure you're using eye protection. Both ends that you just cut off are hot, so make sure you're wearing gloves or wait for them to cool off before touching. So this end over here was probably the worst part of that cut, and it's still not horribly bad. I did a pretty good job there, but you can see the giant chunks of metal kind of sitting on the end of that thing, which would make it really hard to get a nut arm to it. But since I already have a nut arm, I can twist this off, and I might need to get a wrench in here. Um, this here is just a little bit more than I want to do with my fingers. Well, I can... Oh, there, I got it. And it comes off, and you can see how it kind of bends those threads over. So you probably want to knock that over with a file, but you could still thread this onto the rod without even doing that if you needed to. Sometimes it's easier to hold the file. So you might need to hit these guys. And that's going to mess up your threads, so now you can chase those threads out by taking the nut off. And you might need to get a wrench out for this. Sometimes you can do it with finger strength, sometimes you need a little mechanical advantage. So if you mess up the threads a lot, you might need a wrench to help get that thing off. Now, if you don't have a vise to clamp the threaded rod, you can put two nuts on a threaded rod, lock them against each other, and then use another wrench to hold the threaded rod.